Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly add bullets to our Kindle template so that it shows up correctly on the Kindle. Now the interesting thing is there's actually only one way to do this and make it work on the Kindle. And it's not the way that most people would choose. So it's a very important video if you want to have bullets in your Kindle books. And secondly, besides doing the bullets, I'm going to show you actually how to get a full indent on your bullet. So for example, what I'm circling here, you can see the bullet, all three lines are fully indented. The old way, it would just be the first line of a bullet would be indented and the other two lines, for example, would be over here. So in this way, you get a full indent for your entire bullet, which looks much better. All right, let's jump right into it. Normally, if you're using Word to create bullets, most people are gonna come up here on the toolbar and choose the toolbar option for creating bullets and um, do that because it's quick and easy. And if you're just doing a Word document, it works great and, and it looks great. The problem is if you do that, even though it looks good in Word, it will not show up on the Kindle. In fact, it'll show up as some weird characters and mess up all your formatting. So you definitely don't want to do that. So the first step is getting your bullet in there. And the only way to do that so that it works and looks good on the Kindle is to come up here and click Insert and then Symbol. So you want to insert Symbol and then you can choose your bullet symbol that you want, which here's our bullet. Now, what I can do after doing that is highlight the bullet so it's highlighted and then change the font size of the bullet and you'll see as I go up in font, the bullet gets larger or you can go smaller. So you can have any size bullet you want just by highlighting that bullet and changing the font size. Let's do an 11 for this bullet. Then all I do is I just hit the space bar and I can type in my text. And what I'll do is do an extra long bullet. I will uh, copy this text and paste it right in here for this bullet. So we have an extra long bullet, but you'll see that it's not indented at all. So what I want to show you is I created a new style to indent bullets. And I called the style AIC, which stands for Authors Insider Club, indented bullets. AIC indented bullets right there. And that is a new style that I've created. So if you don't see that style in the Kindle template of ours, then make sure you download an updated version because it's in there. So what I'm going to do is just highlight the text. I don't have to highlight the bullet itself, just the text that we did next to the bullet and choose AIC indented, indented bullets. Watch what happens when I click on that style. And there we go. It, automatically indented our entire bullet for us so it all looks even and uniform and it's nicely indented. So again, to create bullets, you don't use the toolbar. You actually click on insert and symbol and then add your bullet and then add your text next to your bullet. And if you want those indented, you just highlight the text and use the AIC indented bullets style and that will indent the entire bullet for you, all the text with that bullet. And then when you want another bullet, you can just hit the enter key. And if you want one on the very next line, you can just do it again, insert symbol and go from there. Or you can skip a line and hit enter twice and skip a line and just build your next bullet the exact same way. So that's how to do bullets and indenting of bullets using our Kindle template. 